So I'm a four iron player. I got the Rogue ST Pro four iron, but I've always been curious, is there performance to be gained if I switch into Rogue ST Pro hybrid or like an Apex hybrid in a four iron slot? We're gonna do the test right now. Here we go. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. There's a memo that went off this morning. I ran the same club. <laughs> You're the best wedge player I've seen in a long time. Me? Well, um, thank you. Hey, that's a good reason to put an iron in your bag. So the four iron part of the bag, it's a tricky part of the bag. So you want forgiveness, you want ball speed, you want height, you want all that stuff. So I have a Rogue ST Pro four iron that I actually hit really well. It's like the 215, 220 club for me, carry distance. If I could change anything about it, I'd like to hit it a little bit higher. So I got the Apex Hybrid and I got the Rogue ST Pro Hybrid. Those are the two that caught my eye. So we're gonna test those. But let's hit some four irons first. And to be honest, like the Rogue ST Pro four iron, is, it's super forgiving. But if I'm leaving meat on the table somewhere, I'd like to know. So we're gonna find out. So let's just hit a couple of four irons here. Like that was solid. Got my little launch monitor here. Let's see what that carried. Okay, so that carried 214. Got about 92 feet in the air, which is really good. It's a high four iron. Uh, good ball speed, good descent angle, right around 45 degrees. So that's good. Let's hit a couple more with my four iron. Same exact shot as the last one, maybe at like that much skinny. So that carried 213 at 3,700 spin, got 88 feet in the air. Same descent angle. I just hit three balls in a row exactly the same. I hit that one the best though. So that was 218 carry at 39.50 spin, which is good spin. 94 feet in the air, 46 degree descent angle. How can you argue with that? But we're looking for performance gains. We like to push the envelope. We aren't satisfied, those are great numbers, but this is Callaway Golf people. We like to push it all the way. So I have an Apex 21 hybrid. So what I'm looking for out of this thing is if I can get this out to 220, you know, if I rope it 220, 220, 223 with the same amount of spin and all that stuff, you know, we could be a buyer. Fujikura Ventus Hybrid 10X. It's a hell of a shaft, the blue. I play the uh, Ventus blue in all my woods. That was pretty good, not great. It's not gonna have a lot of spin on it. Kind of turned over right to left. So that was 217 carry at 3200 spin, 90 feet in the air. Flatter descent angle came in and around 42, it's a little flat for a hybrid. Like that was pretty solid there. That was about as good as I can hit it. Straight up in the air. Okay, 220 carry, 3600 spin. It's a little low on the spin. Good height at 91 feet, 46 degree descent angle, which we love. That's like a good solid hybrid. So we know what this one does. But now we're gonna go into the Rogue ST Pro. Now I really love the way that these things look. This to me goes perfectly from a UW or a five wood straight into the Rogue ST Pro iron set. That's kind of what you want. So if you play a five wood and go into a hybrid and then you go into like a set of Apex MBs, it's gotta harmonize. It's got like, it's like a band, it's gotta flow. Absolutely roped it. 219 carry at 3,900 spin, 88 feet in the air, it came out a little lower. Descent angle's a little flatter. That was striped. That's the best one I've hit out of all of them, even the four irons. 223 carry, 89 feet in the air, at 4,100 spin on a right to left shot. So this thing spins, I love spin. So let's hit one more. Right on the money, again. This one kind of faded a little bit, thank God. 220 carry at 39.80 spin. Came in a little flatter at 87 feet. So this thing launches, it comes, you know, flies a little lower with more spin, which we love, a little bit more control. And the descent angle is good. Okay, so what did we learn? Like, is it straight up, bang over my head? Facts that I need to go into this thing? No, but this is how I would decide. So like of the three, I wouldn't put this in play just because it doesn't fit my eye. Hybrids have to fit your eye, but the performance on this thing was amazing on the Apex 21. Between these two though, I would probably add this as a 15th club. Depending on the golf course I was playing, if I was playing a really tight golf course where I needed to hit some irons off the tee, I would actually probably use this. I wouldn't use it on longer golf courses. I would probably want my four iron, but for this one on a shorter golf course, shorter par fives, uh, like 310 yard par fours, so I needed to flip it out there, this is 
potentially a really, really good club. But check out the article I wrote. If you have any more questions, go to the World of Wonder website, callawaygolf.com. The Rogue ST Pro, the whole line's amazing. It's Johnny Wonder. That's the experiment. We're out of here.